Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a first impressions overview to do for you. This is the Great Eastern Cutlery number 97. This is a slip joint, of course. You can see there, 97 is the pattern. And uh, oops, this was graciously loaned, not loaned in, it was given to me by Jamie Loves Knives on Instagram. I'll link him below so you can check it out. Comes in this cool... Um, what the hell do you call this? A cylinder? I don't know. Um, it's really, really cool. I love the label on here. I did not know Great Eastern Cutlery was established in 2006. I thought they were much older than that. But it's so cool that they're doing such a uh, traditional type thing. Here's the cap. You can see 97, 6119. So again, it's pattern 97, blade style 6, one blade, and it was made in 2019. And it says Gabon Ebony. I don't know if that's the type of wood or something. Um, but anyway, there's the packaging for it. If you're interested, um, obviously these came out in 2019. It also comes wrapped in this cool wax paper. So he sent this to me because I don't think he really liked it. Uh, it was too big for him or just he wasn't interested in it. And he thought I might uh, enjoy it because I have been kind of dabbling in slip joints, but haven't really committed. And I've probably said somewhere that I wanted a Great Eastern Cutlery at some point. So he was very kind in sending this to me. Um, now, I do want to say that this will probably get given away to a friend or on a live stream or something. Because I can tell you right now, I wouldn't carry this and... Um, I kind of say that out of respect to my buddy Jamie. I, he gave this to me, but at the same time, I know he wants it to be put to use. He wants somebody to enjoy it in their collection. And for me, it would just sit in my knife case and I would occasionally play with it and think about Jamie. And like, that's great. And like I said, I love Jamie, but um, I think he'd want somebody to use this bad boy or at least carry it or something you know so it's a really big slip joint i think that's where the kind of fault of this knife comes in it does have a pretty relatively light pull um you know if it's a one to ten kind of deal uh which it is kev uh yeah it's got to be like a three a two i mean I, I feel like a one or a two would be like you could shake it out almost um like a shitty detent so I got to give it a little bit, right? It's probably a three, maybe call it a four. I don't know. It's not taking much like, you know, I'm barely squeezing here, not even on the nail neck or anything. And I can pull it out, right? Um, you don't need the nail neck at all. You just bang, bang. And you can see here a little bit pressure and it pops. So whatever that means to you in terms of the spring. Uh, let's take a close-up look at it. It's got these really cool steel bolsters right here, nice and polished, pretty classic Grayson and Cutlery style. You can see the spine here, the whatever you want to call it. Um, here's the back spring. So it's flush all the way across, no transitions, feels fantastic. You do have this hump here, which is an interesting thing because you have to make the spring work with that, right? has to kind of hump with it, um, and it does. It's smooth all the way through. Um, you can see here, let's go to half stop. Bang, drops right back in, super smooth. Again, fully deployed, super smooth. Okay, so yeah, very nice spring. You'll see the centering is off. I don't really know how that works with slip joints. Uh, if I push it to try to center it, it's a very hard time pushing that over. It's not going to want to stay there. Sometimes with slip joints, you can just push them into place and they'll stay there. I don't know how you would go about fixing that. Is that just... And somebody could tell me in the comments who's a slip joint uh, fan. Is that something you just deal with if it's off center? Like, you can't really fix it, I would assume. Maybe there's a trick to it that I don't know, like shoving paper up there and having it bend or something. Um, but is that something that people really care about with slip joints? I mean, as long as it's not rubbing, which it's not, I mean, it's close, but it's not, um, it shouldn't be an issue, right? Here's the front, uh, crest and the pins, which is pretty cool. There's that ebony wood. You can get a good look at it. Very nice. There's your polished, 
uh, bottom bolster. There's my shirt. Don't skip leg day. Money Python. And uh, there's my camera and my phone. I mean, my phone, camera, and my chin. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a goofball. There's fingerprints, so if you ever need to get somebody for a crime, make sure you hand them a GEC first. Uh, let's open it up. Here's the blade. So it's a clip point. I'm surprised that clip point is the number six blade shape. I mean, I would think after, what, spay and spear point, maybe sheep's foot, it would... You know, drop point, like, I don't know, clip points, like, if I think of traditional, I think of clip point. So there you see Northfield Unexcelled, trademark. It did have some um, marks on the blade. I don't know what that was from. I took a rust eraser, because I thought maybe that would work, and it did. But I may have inadvertently kind of polished the blade a little bit there. I don't know if that matters. I don't know how that works, if it would come out real easy, or if... You know, maybe just a little cleaning would do it. I did use alcohol after, though, so... I would rather have these marks than the black marks that were on it, but I know you guys, Slip Joint fans, are into the wear and tear type stuff, so maybe I just ruined this. I apologize to the world if I did. Um, yeah, there's your blade. So let's look at this, and then we can go back to normal view. GEC car, 9761119. Northfield unexcelled made in USA real quick sorry I hit the stop recording button instead of the zoom here's the internals if you want to see that up close pretty cool stuff all right let's do this properly there we go yeah we did it calf um yeah let's cut something let's see if it's sharp pretty sure it's new it's just been in his collection you know um, oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Could it be that the guy cutting doesn't know how to cut? <laughs> there we go. Just had to aim down a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... It's very sharp, well-tuned edge. I don't think it's been used at all. And if a guy who knows how to cut uses it, or cut something that isn't paper, it'll be fine. Now, what is that? Is that a roll from paper? Could you get a roll from paper? That's weird, right? Hang on. Zooming in again. Was that there? Yeah, I can feel a little something, something. I don't know if that happened from me cutting paper or possibly from this. Could it be? It's burning through that kick or whatever. Like, that kick is supposed to stop it from hitting, but maybe because it's such a long knife. I don't know. But anyway, that could be a slight issue with this knife. I'm sure sharpening would fix it. Plus, it's not really a big deal. Um, Size-wise, let's compare it to some modern knives. We have the Vero Engineering Axons, the left-handed version. This has a three-and-a-half-inch blade. I guess I'll... Line it up at the scale, because this doesn't have a pivot, right? So, line it up at the scale. You can see it's a bit bigger on both ends. This is a three and a half inch blade, probably eight and a quarter overall, something like that. This is a big knife. Um, here's a Microtech stitch. How about that pair right there? Anybody ever think you'd see these two together? So, you got the Microtech stitch, scale to scale. Let's go right there. The stitch, it looks a lot bigger, I think, on the camera. Blade length is about the same, and it's just a little longer on the handle. Not that much, though. I think the camera makes it look bigger. But the stitch is a huge knife. I mean, you know. Um, so you have that. And then I'll get a measuring tape. And I'll do what you guys have been asking me to do for so long, which is start... At the one inch mark, so 
Now look at that. I somehow knotted this. I'll start the one inch marks. I don't have to worry about this tab. You guys love to freaking tell me that in the comments. I'm just kidding. Love you guys. But there you go. So we're looking at eight and a half inches overall. Just about. You have to subtract an inch, guys. So maybe a little less. Eight and a, no, it's eight and a half. Eight and a half inches overall on the blade. We're looking at just about. Wow, it's huge, man. Four. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Three. See, this is why I can't do this. I got to subtract, right? So it's four and three quarters. A little bit more than that. So it'd be three and three quarters on the blade. I mean, it's freaking huge, right? Four and a half on the handle. So it's for a um, for a traditional for a slip joint. It's a monster. I mean, that's just plain and simple. That's what it is. It's a monster. You could choke all the way up to here. Look at that. I mean, I just don't know who would carry this. That's the that's the question I have. Is you know, I for me personally, if I'm gonna have a slip joint, I want it to be like a sub three inch or three inch version of this design i love this design perfect for me um man do i love this kind of like coffin -y thing going on you know maybe not but it's fine with me but if it was like a three inch blade that'd be great because then you could you know throw it in your pocket when you're going to do something where you don't want to just have um you know crazy knives on you or whatever um it would work right but a four inch one i just don't really get it so, uh, but I really like that I'm able to check it out. I love Jamie for um, sending it my way. And I'm sure somebody out there will enjoy this knife. I don't know what these went for new or anything. And I may or may not have damaged the thing a little bit. <laughs> but uh, it's still a cool knife. And hopefully somebody will enjoy it. So big thank you to Jamie Loves Knives. Uh, Instagram below. Please go check him out. And uh, yeah. That's it, guys. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.